Alrighty, welcome back everyone, it's Carly in here bringing you another Neverwinter video. And today we're going to be talking about the Sea of the Moving Ice fishing achievement. As you can see on the map here, we are in the Runestead. And you want to be right where about where I was there. Uh, there is a plethora of fish uh, that you do have to catch that says that it's only in the Runestead. As you can see, the Moon Glow Herring. Um, and then as well as the... Oh, let's see, where is it at here? The Anglers and then the Frozen Four are going to be your green ones, which are your rank twos. And then your rank threes are going to be the blue ones, which are going to be the Duskwalker. And then, of course, your rank five is going to be the Cocaine. So there is a good bit of fish that you can only actually get in the Runestead. Uh, now a lot of people have been asking me, you know, where is the Runestead? Uh, that's going to be the weekly quest, guys. Um, so when you get your weekly quest, it takes you to the Runestead where you go back onto the boat and then you zone into the Runestead. If you look in the bottom right, uh, you can see that there is a little bit of water, like a little pond. And then there's a little cave that does have a very little fishing spot location. Uh, and you're actually um, able to fish here and catch these select fish. Uh, you, need all, you, you need all of the fish in the collections to actually get the fishing title. Um, so if you have fished in the Sea of Moving Ice and you have you know, obtained all of your other fish, then you simply need to come to the Runestead and get the last few that you need. Now, normal rules do apply here. It is RNG. Uh, so, I mean, it could take you anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour to catch uh, the necessary fish from the Runestead to finish your collection to get the title. Uh, like I said, there is uh, white ones, green ones, blue ones, and then one purple one uh, that you will have to catch total in the weekly quest. Uh, it's not hard. You can simply just find someone who hasn't done their weekly yet and go with them. And then after you help them finish their weekly, you know, being the nice person that you are, then you can simply go and fish. Um, that's, of course, if you've already done your weekly. If you haven't done your weekly, you could just wait for your weekly and then, you know, enter the instance yourself. And then, you know, fish. Uh, one thing that I was testing and I, you know, I couldn't test it thoroughly. Um, I'm not sure if you can actually get map in the bottles from this location. Uh, I spent, you know, maybe an hour and a half until I accumulated all the fish that I needed from the Runestead. Uh, and in that hour and a half, I didn't pull any maps in the bottles at all. Uh, so if someone in the comments below wants to verify that uh, you can or cannot actually get maps in the bottles here. Uh, because if you can, that's kind of, you know, a nice little trick because when you're out and seeing moving ice and if you're fishing with uh, a bunch of people, you know, those fishing holes do dissipate after a while, and then you have to go and find a new one. Uh, they do remain there a good bit of time, but this way, if you can actually get maps in the bottles here, this one doesn't dissipate ever. Uh, so you can literally just, you know, sit here and fish, you know, your entire life away, basically. Um, that's, of course, if uh, we can confirm that maps do drop here. Like I said, uh, someone wants to leave me a comment below. Maybe I just gave away super secret pro tips. You know, maybe if people have already been taking advantage of this, but it's not super game breaking, unfortunately. So, like I said, the only upside of that is that this hold never, you know, it never dissipates. It never goes away. Uh, so you never have to move uh, locations at all. Um, and, of course, you know, you're not going to get any of the rank for fish from seeing moving ice to get any of the materials if you're still after that sort of stuff. Uh, but if you're strictly just map farming, then yeah, this would be a pretty ideal location, to be honest. Uh, but as you see here, I'm just, you know, fishing away. I'm pulling, you know, anything from rank 1 to uh, rank 4s. I didn't actually get the rank 5 in this video, unfortunately. Uh, I did get it later. Uh, I didn't have, you know, I'm not going to sit here for an hour and make you guys watch an hour video of me trying to get every single fish. Uh, I mean, I could have made a bunch of little videos and then edited it down into one video, but uh, ain't nobody got time for that. Um, but if you guys do have any questions, you know, I did get a lot of questions regarding the fishing title. That's why I'm putting this video out there. 
uh, nothing major, you know, just a quick little video today about it. So if you guys want your fishing title, you know, get out there, start fishing. Uh, mod 10 is, you know, coming to an end here. Um, mod 11 comes out on PC in a few days on uh, February 21st. Uh, it'll be coming to the console. It hasn't been announced yet, but it's usually, you know, a month and a half down the road, almost two months down the road. So I would expect that it would be that same timeline, same time frame. Uh, so if you're finishing up your Mod 10 stuff and you're still uh, doing things and uh, you want to go back and get the title, then, you know, now's the time. If you have everything done and you don't have really anything else to do uh, and you want to snag the title, then now's the time to do it uh, as we are closing this module and we will be moving on to the next one. Uh, if you guys have any questions uh, regarding fishing in general or the Runestead, the weekly quest, or, you know, the fish that come from the weekly quest, be sure as always to leave a comment below. That's going to wrap it up for the video, guys. Uh, we'll see you in the next one.